science experiment. Hi, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a science experiment with my palazzo. I bet you have never thought about this, right? You've never. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl down now, and I'm back with another training pants, and I have my pull-ups in front of me, um, guys. I am going to conduct an experiment. So let me just get this. <clears throat> All right. Have you ever thought about just how much or how many cups of water it takes to leak a training pants? Hmm. Have you ever thought about that? I bet you haven't because I'm the only one who thinks about things like this, right? <laughs> That's why you're here. All right, guys, so I am going to conduct an experiment and we're gonna see just how many cups of water it takes to leak this training pan right here. Are you game for this? I know you are. That's why you're here again. And I am using a size 2T, 3T. Why? Because that's the size that my baby girl wears right now. And um, let the fun begin. This is something that only a professional can do at home. Um, kids, ask your parents before conducting this experiment. It can be very dangerous. <laughs> I killed me. All right, guys. So I have a brand new training pan and I have my water right here. It's loaded with water and I'm going to adjust my camera and I have a cup right here. Now, just so I don't make a huge mess, I am going to keep my training pants over the, the container, all right? Let's do this, let's do this. So here's one cup. This seems really hard to do, man. Kids do not do this at home. So that's one. Okay, we need this thing to absorb properly. Yeah, I better put my hand to the bottom. Let's put my hand to the bottom. So it's one cup. No leakage yet. I can feel coldness though, it's totally cold. All right. Now the little spillage coming over on the side, we're not gonna consider the spillage on the side to be leakage because that's just the um, that's just the water spilling over. Now let me show you guys something. Between the guards, I got a little bit of water trapped inside there. Can you see it? So I'm gonna dip that over just a little bit. So I just have, I have two cups right now inside. And I'm you know, my my leakage right here. I'm, so I have two cups inside here right now. And once again, this is still not leaking. Like, I mean, I do not have wetness. I just have right now just that coldness from the water, but it's not leaking just yet. It's not. And I better dry my hand. Let me dry let's my hand. For a third cup. So let's go for cup number three. All right. Cup number three. And as I mentioned before, you're gonna have a little bit of spillage along the sides because I'm using this, this measuring cup. I'm taking my time, letting it absorb. Oh my gosh, guys, you should see all the water just loading up inside here. Oh my goodness. Okay, and now I have a little bit of spillage. All right, y'all. So I am back with my conclusion. <clears throat> Let's put it on. I guess this makes me feel a little more just intelligent, you know? Not that I'm not. Not that I'm not. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so let me come back with my conclusion. Okay. I must admit, the next time I conduct another experiment, I am going to try to find something else, another means of pouring in my water into my training pants, because this had a little bit of water spillage along the sides of it, and it was not because it was not absorbing the liquid, it's because of, you know, I'm pouring it in, and it takes a while for water to absorbed through the material itself. So it does take a while. So I had a little bit of spillage going on, but I think it's safe for me to say, somewhere between two to three cups of water, 
I think three cups is pushing it. I, I don't think I could make it because right now I have um, a little leakage in my hand. So somewhere between two and three cups of water is the happy middle ground. All right? And um, what I'm gonna do now, just because it is an experiment, let me show you how it looks inside. Check this out. Wow, guys, <laughs> oh my goodness. Are there any parents out there who allow their kids to walk around with a training pant like this? No. Thumbs up, thumbs up to pull-ups because this has, I'm gonna say, two to three cups because we had a little bit of spillage. So between two to three cups of water inside here. So this is full, of, this is totally absorbent right now. And I am very impressed. Check this out. This is the back of the training pan. So look how it looks. And this is the front. Let's go ahead and, and as I squeeze it, I have, look at that. We have, this is why you have your little ones when they walk around, they have this drainage going on and their clothing is soaked. All right, so, oh, and look right yeah. here, it's totally gone. That, look, there's nothing on the front of this anymore. It is totally telling me, look, mama, you need to give your baby girl a brand new Trina pants. Like, she has gone beyond the limit of this one right here. All right, guys, look, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you like this kind of video. Right, guys, it's every day. If you're new here, welcome. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and hey, until next time, mwah, 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 ciao. Oh, and another thing, keep the video suggestions going. Let me know what you wanna see next. Like we went ahead and we did the pull-ups. Do you want me to do an experiment with Easy Ups? If you do, let me know, because you guys know I can get that done for you, but, let me know what you want me to do and I will be back with another training pant experiment.